Yo, what is going on guys? It is all synced up and today what I have for you guys is another gameplay fail. I get another nuclear fail on the same map with practically the same exact score. Uh, basically what happened was uh, I was using the MP7 with the dragon camo and actually get a 28 gun streak. So I died two off the nuclear. And this is just a few matches after I got that cyborg 29 gun streak. I get this dragon 28 gun streak. And uh, unfortunately the same thing happened again. I was so close to my nuclear and then the game ends because we triple caps like crazy. Uh, like last game we owned them 200 to 30 something. This game we owned them 200 to 20 something. So it's even more of a, uh, of a triple cap and uh, we pretty much dominate the enemy team again. And at the end of this game there's only one person on the enemy team. And unfortunately... Uh, there was not that many players and I could not get the rest of my kills. So unfortunately I did only get a 28 gun streak. Also it's uh, with the MP7. As you can see I was trying out different guns like the uh, the PDW and then the Peacekeeper. And then I decided to switch to the MP7 which I haven't used in a while and it's actually a really good gun. Uh, and thank you guys so much for the feedback on my last video. Uh, I did get a 29 gun streak with a cyborg camo which was unfortunate but um, I'm very glad that I was able to get that gameplay and it's uh, one of the best on YouTube So uh, right now I'm using the mp7 with this dragon camo and it looks really nice with this dragon camo not gonna lie uh, Dragon camo and cyborg were definitely the two best camos uh, Comics and paladin I don't think were that good or even comparable to these two because these two are really good Especially with these uh, the call sign titles. I think dragon has the best call sign title out of all of them it looks really sick. If you guys don't get it, I don't know what you're doing because uh, these two camos are really sick and I recommend you guys get them. Uh, they just came out actually uh, 11 p.m. last night uh, Pacific time for me. Uh, it was actually available in the PlayStation Store and then I think they released it later um, for uh, in like the in Call of Duty like in, in uh, Black Ops 2 in the game and. Uh, so like yeah, these camos are really nice and I'm just trying to get gameplays with these camos because these camo gameplays are just entertaining to watch because they're just really nice camos and when getting gameplays with it, it just looks really good. So uh, yeah, the MP7 is a really good gun. It has 40, uh, 40 bullets in each clip and I decided to use fast mags with it because it already has a lot of bullets to begin with and then so it's kind of like uh, the PDW. Like, now that the PDW is completely, like, it's, like, really bad now, I think the MP7 is a good replacement because it, it, it does have a fast fire rate, even though, uh, even though it has a fast fire rate, it has a lot of bullets, so it kind of, uh, compensates, so, you know, in comparison to the other SMGs, which only have 30 bullets, the MP7 has 40, which is a good advantage, and as you can see from my score streaks, I'm actually using UAV, counter UAV, and orbital VSAT. Um, this is a better setup than going uh, Stealth, Chopper, Orbital VSAT, and Lodestar because of course your score streaks are going to be doing work, not your gun. But uh, there are some advantages. Now, uh, the reason to using Stealth, Chopper, Orbital VSAT, and Escort Drone would be uh, while the enemy team is taking out your Escort Drone and Stealth Chopper, you can get kills on them. So like they're just, uh, they're, they're like uh, vulnerable to you killing them because they, all they have is an FHJ out so you can just kill them easily. So. Uh, you know, it could be, uh, you could either use that set of score streaks or this set. I mean, you know, it does help both ways. You could do it, like, either way, but, I don't know, going for nuclears is still a difficult task nonetheless, and, you know, I, I'm really trying to get these nuclears. I've gotten, like, out of all the brutal metals that I've had, I've, I've gotten, like, one-third of them have been nuclears, so it's very unfortunate that I die, like, so close to a nuclear every time or actually I don't die actually the game ends before I can get the nuclear so yeah uh, I get so like I mentioned using EMP uh, I think uh, UEV counter and orbital VSAT is a really good way to go because with the EMP like it takes a little bit longer to get and also when building up to your VSAT all you have is a UAV so you don't have those counter UAV assists to get your VSAT faster so when going for like a very fast paced gameplay, I think UAV, counter UAV, and orbital VSAT is the way to go. Even though EMP grenade does, or the EMP uh, score streak lasts for an entire minute and counter UAV only lasts for 45 seconds, I think it's worth it when going for your score streaks. Especially going for that VSAT, you want to get your VSAT as soon as possible. So uh, in this gameplay, I'm using the MP7 with laser sight and fast mag. And for my perks, I'm using Hardline, Scavenger, Toughness, Dexterity with C4 and Concussion. Pretty much the same exact setup as my AN94 class, except I'm using Laser and Fast Mag instead of Stock and Extended Mag. 
for you know guns like for like assault rifles i tend to use uh fast or extended mag but it kind of depends on the gun for the an94 i switch up between extended and fast mag but on the majority i use extended mags because as i've said in my last video you know i like to spray and pray and for smgs i like to use fast mag because i'm always going to be up in their face and in their spawn so i'm going to be using fast mag so i can always you know spam bullets all the time and always be ready for those gunfights and here you can see i get my brutal medal uh, i'm on a 26 gun streak right now and as you can see from the score it's 164 to 26 we're completely uh owning these guys and then unfortunately my teammates you know as you can see right there they hop on the c flag so you know it was unfortunate that the game ended so quickly there's all there's over four minutes left still on the um on the timer and unfortunately we triple capped again like we did last game and unfortunately I do dot I do not get my nuclear again. So this is a double nuclear fail and it's on the same map as well. I mean it's like the same exact thing happened. It's like the same exact uh, score uh, pretty much and then the only difference is I'm, I'm using dragon camo instead of the cyborg. So you guys can see like the comparison between cyborg and dragon. Let me know what you guys think is better. I'm pretty sure you guys will say cyborg but some people do prefer dragon and uh, without a doubt, uh, Dragon and Cyborg are the top two camos, in my opinion. And uh, for the Dragon camo, uh, they have the best call sign title. Uh, Cyborg looks really nice as well, but I think just Cyborg is just, you know, it's not as good as a Dragon call sign title. Also, I've tried out like some of the other reticles. Like, you guys can try them out. They included, like, um, like for the ACOG, they have, like, this Dragon. Like, it's an actual Dragon for the ACOG scope. It's pretty sick. And then they have some uh, Cyborg stuff. So, yeah, you guys can go check that if you want. So, anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this gameplay. Uh, another 28 gun streak nuclear fail with the MP7 with Dragon Camo for the PS3. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like rating, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, peace out.